in laparoscopic surgery. We know that we use uh, diathermy, whatever, monopolar, bipolar, uh, very frequent in our practice. So how it works and what are the complications and what are the effects, how it acts on the tissue. At first, about how it acts. Okay, we have uh, the diathermy generator. The benefit of diathermy generator to confirm the direct current coming from electricity to alternate current. And it will convert the electricity with low frequency 50 to 60 hertz to high frequency electricity. High frequency electricity. What is the benefit? Why we cannot use same electricity to act upon the human tissue? Because the electricity acts in human tissue by the routine frequency 50 to 60, leading to nerve stimulation, muscle stimulation, and electrocussion. This can lead to this. So when the generator converts this low frequency, 50 to 60 hertz, to high frequency, we have very important benefit. This high frequency does not stimulate the nerve, does not stimulate the muscle. That's why there is no electrocussion and there is no this. Take care, there is difference between using diathermy and using electrocautery. Diathermy is electrosurgery, while electrocautery, like the one used for cautery of cervical erosion, that in electrocautery there is no generator, just the machine. It has electricity. This electricity becomes heat in the same an instrument. That's why in electrocautery, if you touch the tip of an instrument, you will find it very, very hot. While if you touch the tip of diathermy an instrument, you will find electricity, no heat. So how diathermy makes heating of the tissue? When you apply diathermy an instrument, on the tissue, it will lead to vibrations and lead to movement of electrolytes in the tissue. That's why the tissue will start to be hot. The instrument itself not hot, but the effect on the tissue, heating effect. Even the opposite will occur. When the tissue becomes very hot, 60 degree or 100 degree or more, the tissue when becomes very hot, it will transmit heat to the instrument. So the instrument will be hot. So take care after using diathermy in instrument. Take care if you touch other tissue, the instrument can be hot. This heat is transmitted from the tissue, not coming from the instrument itself. Okay, is it something new to use heat in surgery? No, it's very old. Since ancient Egyptians, in 3000 before birth, they used heating effect to treat breast cancer. So they were, they were able to know that there is something called cancer. And even they started to treat it using heat. Look at this picture here you will find positive direction and the negative direction. This is called one cycle. One cycle. If I ask you how many cycles happened per second, this is called Hertz. Hertz. As we see cycle, it's composed of positive and the negative. This is full one this is full one cycle. If we say that if we say this is one second. This timing is one second. So the vibration here is one hertz, one cycle per second. In the same one second, I can make more number of cycles. How? Look at this. One cycle. Both. Now became two cycle in the same time. So my frequency now is two cycles per second. So we talked about how many cycles per second. Also we can say what about the voltage. Look at the voltage here. I can make it high voltage and more frequent. 
like this high voltage and more frequent i can change the voltage alone and i can change the frequency alone from here comes the difference between coagulation and the cutting you will find that in coagulation you will do high voltage okay but intermittent or interrupted this time in between gives time gives rest for the tissue to be cool again that's why you will find in coagulation the heat and the temperature is not very high while in cutting we reach 100 degree this is our target so by changing the frequency and by changing the voltage you can have coagulation you can have cutting and even you can have others so we said coagulation high voltage but intermittent there is a space between cycle and the other this is coagulation effect while this one low voltage but continuous this will lead to cutting effect there is no time for the tissue to return to be cool again this is the difference between cutting and coagulation and we can adjust the machine to make other combinations how to be uh, high voltage and continuous or low voltage and interrupted that's why we can make more and more modes of the machine okay so this is the benefit of the generator okay what is the frequency of electricity coming through the diathermy instrument it's more than 500 kilohertz we said the uh, domestic electricity is 50 to 60 hertz which can stimulate nerve muscle and they can lead to this and electrocution while the one we use in electro surgery 500 kilohertz or more it doesn't stimulate nerve doesn't stimulate muscle so no electrocution and no this so these are the benefits of the machine of the surgery you can adjust you can make modes and you have high frequency electricity okay so at what temperature our effect will happen if you reach 50 degrees for six minutes still this will happen 60 degree instant still this 60 to 95 this is our target to produce coagulation effect more than this it became 100 at 100 we know that 100 degree is a degree of evaporation or vaporization when vaporization occurs the tissue will be cut so it's a cutting effect more than this which is not desired you will find black coagulation which we don't want so maximum we want 100 to cut coagulation 60 to 95 okay there are multiple factors which can change the effect of electro diathermy on the tissues like the voltage like the frequency like what tissue is it and what is the impedance or resistance of the tissue to electricity and how many seconds or what is the time that you will apply the instrument of electro diathermy to the tissue because prolonged time will lead to more and more effect more and more heating so take care more and more complications because when the heat becomes very high for long time heat will be transmitted to other structures like nearby bowel or nearby ureter or vascular injury so take care okay there is effect called fulgration we have picture for it look here at this one fulgration we call it sometimes in our practice spray effect spray effect that you do surface coagulation without touching the tissue it's called fulgration without touching the tissue the benefit that you don't touch tissue and it will lead to superficial coagulation for large area 
So it's good if there is oozing surface, like surface of a muscle. Okay, so this is called fulguration. To do cutting, the first one here on the left, you don't need to touch. You don't need to touch to do cutting. While to do the routine coagulation, you touch tissue. These are the most important ones. The original cutting, the original coagulation, and fulguration effects. Okay, look here. Here, cutting. So, low voltage and continuous. This is the one leading to cutting. While to do coagulation, the one uh, here, coagulation. Okay, you can do high voltage but intermittent. Intermittent. This is the one leading to coagulation. And you can adjust the machine to make more and more blends. Okay, now we want to know about what are the factors affecting the electrosurgical effect upon the tissues. Number one, the wave. Is this wave high voltage or low voltage? And the frequency for this wave, is it high frequency or low frequency? And we have just said low voltage continuous cutting, high voltage interrupted coagulation effect. And we can do other blends, other modes, like vulgaration effect. Okay, number two, the power. If you adjust the machine on high power, it will give more and more effect. Low power, it will give less and less effect. But actually, our target is to keep reasonable low power. Why? To give you the required effect in the same time to avoid complications. We said excess heating will lead to more distant heat, so distant injury and complications. So how to adjust the machine? Usually we adjust coagulation on 30 to 50 watts. While for cutting, we adjust the machine on 50 to 80 watts. This is the usual <clears throat> adjustment for the machine. If the patient is muscular, okay, we can adjust less sitting. Because we will say later that the muscle responds very good to surgery, to electrosurgery. While if there is excess fat, we need to increase the watt and the power for the machine. Electrode surface area. The machine or the cable or the instrument you are catching. The tip of this machine, if it's a thin, it will be more concentrated upon the tissue, more and more effect. If it's wide and broad, the effect will be less upon the tissue. And when you apply this instrument to the tissue for a long time, it will give more and more heating. The temperature will rise. And we want less time, less voltage, less power, and surface area to be concentrated so we can use small power. The waveform according to if you want it to be coagulation or you want it to be cutting effect. Tissue contact. For coagulation, touch the tissue. For cutting, you don't need to touch. Fulgration, no need for touch. Another factor affecting on the response and the effect upon the tissue is impedance. It means tissue resistance. Tissue containing water, like muscle, has small resistance, so responds well. Tissue containing, uh, not containing water like fat, it has high resistance. Same for scar tissue. So, some tissues have high resistance, other tissues have less resistance. Okay, another factor, ESR. When you are using the instrument, of diathermy, you find there is blackish tissue upon the tip of an instrument. Always clean it. Always remove it. Because this HR tissue has high impedance, so will prevent the tissue from taking off electricity. So always clean it. And clean it using 
uh, wet towel. Why? When you use wet towel, it's containing some fluid, some saline. This will increase the effect of electricity upon the tissue. Okay, so these are the factors that affect affect the response of the tissue to electro surgery. So we can summarize again factors modifying tissue effect. Number one, wave form. Is it continuous or interrupted? Low voltage or high voltage? Power output. Make it less as much as you can. 30, 50 coagulation, 50, 80 watt cutting. Surface area, smaller as you can. Activation time, smaller as you can. Tissue contact, according to coagulation or cutting. Tissue impedance, fat not like muscle. ESR present on the instrument, always remove it using wet towel. Okay, what is the difference between monopolar and bipolar? In monopolar, the instrument will give electricity to the tissue. The electricity will walk through the patient and through the returning electrode, which usually we apply to high muscular area like the calf muscle. This is the negative electrode. It will take electricity again to the machine. Now the electric circuit is complete. As you see, the patient is part and the patient is included into the circuit. While in bipolar, the instrument is like forceps. It has two ends. One of them positive electrode, the other one negative electrode. That's why the patient is not part of the circuit. Which one is more safe? Bipolar. Why? Because in bipolar, the distant heat is minimal. Because I am heating the tissue in between the two tips of the two ends of the instrument. Okay. While coupling effect. Coupling means that electricity will go elsewhere. Electricity will go to a place that you don't want. Okay, it's present in monopolar and not present in bipolar. In bipolar, as we said, electricity will pass from positive electrode to negative electrode and no elsewhere. So this happened more in monopolar. But failure in insulation, you know that uh, any electric instrument or metal instrument should be covered by plastic. If there is defect in this plastic, it's a problem in the insulation, can lead to transmission of electricity to untargeted site. Okay, what about bipolar? We said bipolar more safe, but it can have some problems this bipolar. That mushroom effect, what do you mean? We said the instrument is like forceps. So when you grasp the tissue using forceps, the electricity is applied to this specific tissue. It will be heated. Heating will lead to co coagulation, so its impedance will be high. So electricity will find it more easy to go to another place. What do you mean? We can say, okay, this is a tissue you are heating. Okay, with coagulation, its impedance will be high. So electricity you are applying will find it more easy to go to other tissue. It's called mushroom effect. Another effect called electric bypass effect. The instrument is like this. It has two tips. You are heating the tissue in between. If you approximate this end and this end too much, they become very near. Electricity can pass from the positive electrode to negative electrode without having effect upon the tissue. So electricity can bypass the tissue, which is something bad. We don't want this to happen. So avoid too much approximation of the tips of the instrument. And now we have new techniques in the machines, like advanced bipolar devices. By advanced bipolar devices, we can do 
coagulation to vessels up to 7 mm diameter. And now we have smart generator. What is the meaning of smart generator? The machine will perceive the electricity coming from the negative electrode. So the machine can modulate amount of electricity coming from the positive electrode. Okay, so it will start to feel how much going, how much coming back. So the machine will think how the, the tissue responded to the electricity. So it can adjust by increasing or by decreasing. Also, it can give you alarm when the tissue becomes, uh, uh, when, when the effect becomes successful. It can give you alarm to stop using the diathermy. So we have mushroom effect. We have electric bypass by new generation devices. The complications can be decreased because they can adjust the electricity automatically. Okay. We have to follow all safety precautions to reduce the complications. What is the incidence of complications by laparoscopy? Two to five per 1,000. Okay, mainly we talk about uh, intestinal injury and the ureteric injury. The problem that injury by diathermy intraoperative, maybe it will not be manifested at the same time, and it can be manifested later, after a few days, when you close the patient already. So it can lead to hidden problem. That's why increasing morbidity and mortality. That's why even in this talk article, it said that if you touch the intestine by the electricity, Take care, it will lead to necrosis later. So you can take stitches to surround and close this area. So if necrosis occurred later, already you covered it. Okay, so how I can do injury to tissues? Injury, number one, direct application. That you did excess heating effect upon the tissue, so distant heat can affect other organ. For example, I am doing cautery to a fascia, and the ureter coming near to this fascia. Electricity will heat the tissue. If you heat it more than needed, tissue will affect also the ureter, and the necrosis can happen later. The same can happen to bowel or can happen to vessel. So take care. This is called direct application. Or it can be an advertent activ activation. What does it mean? I pushed by my foot on the foot pedal. I didn't intend to do so. Just I was uh, feeling fatigue, so my leg pushed upon the foot pedal. Electricity came, injured a tissue. It's called inadvertent activation. So take care. And if you are using Electrodiathermy at this moment, please remove the cable, put it in a safe place. Okay, to avoid if you push or you press inadvertently upon the foot pedal, no injury and no complications happen. Okay, something else residual heat. I talked about it a few minutes ago that when you apply diathermy to the tissue, the tissue temperature will start to increase. This can lead to heating of the instrument itself. So take care. After using diathermy, the instrument can be hot. So don't touch other tissue. Otherwise, it can injure other tissue. Insulation failure. The uh, plastic or the cover, the plastic cover of an instrument can have a defect. It's more common in, uh, in instruments which are reusable, but still present even in disposable instruments. The problem is that the tear and the defect in the insulation layer sometimes can be very small, sometimes be undiagnosed, but even a small defect can allow passage of 1%, 100% of the electricity power through this small defect. So take care. That's why they thought of making uh, more than one protective layer of insulation. And they thought of make it to be colored. So inner layer to be yellow, for example, and outer layer to be black. 
So if the black layer has cut, you can see the yellow color. So you know that there is defect. It's one of the smart ideas. The challenge in the insulation layers, how to make it more thick and how to make it more layers, more than one, in the same time, you need to avoid making it large diameter because you want the instrument to pass through five milli trucker. This is a challenge in the industry. Okay. Electricity can go from your instrument to another place. This can be what is called antenna coupling. It means that electricity coming from your electrode to another place. I didn't intend that electricity will go there, but this can happen. How it can happen? It can go to another wire, another near wire. You know, like in movies, electricity coming from one wire to another. It's called antenna. Why called antenna? Because it's remote. The electricity will pass through air to another electric wire. It's called antenna coupling. Direct coupling. It means your instrument connected to diathermy. If you turn it on and you are in the same time touching another instrument, which is mistake, okay, electricity will be transmitted to the other one. The other one can injure other tissues. And it's a mistake. This happens only if there is defect in the training. So good training can prevent these problems. Something else, capacitive coupling. It means that there is electric wave or electric field will be transmitted to the surrounding sheath, like in this picture. This is the active electrode. Electricity can be transmitted to the surrounding sheath. So this electric wave or field in the surrounding sheath can injure other tissue. So the sheath itself, the cannula itself can injure tissue. In spite of having everything insulated the best. That's why try to use as few as you can, less power, less voltage, as much as you can. Because it's happening even if it's insulated very well. Okay. The next point. How to decrease complications upon other electric machines? What do you mean? I mean that if a patient is having cardiac pacemaker, or if a patient having a bone metal processes like artificial hip and artificial knee joint, they are metals. The problem is that these metals of prosthetic hip or prosthetic knee, they have low electric impedance. So electricity will find it more easy to go to this joint. So the bone will be uh, this uh, metal or this processes will be heated. So surrounding tissue can have burn. That's why it's better in these conditions to use bipolar diathermy to avoid electricity to pass through the patients. And if the patient is having cardiac pacemaker, also better to use bipolar, better than monopolar. And in this situation, you have to be ready for any problem. You have to be ready for cardiac arrest, involve cardiologist, and you should have resuscitation facilities if cardiac arrest happened. And ECG needs to be connected. Okay, now uh, one of the new techniques to use what's called single port laparoscopy. It means single cannula or single trucker. And from this trucker, we can introduce multiple instruments in the same time. Multiple instruments in the same time. It's called single port laparoscopy. Okay. The last point about surgical smoke. We have took article, separate one about surgical smoke. It's saying that smoke coming from heating the tissue, it can carry viral infection. 
and they can carry carcinogenic materials like carbon monoxide and many others. Although up till now there is no case records of uh, cancer from the surgical smoke, but you have to protect yourself and take care. Your surgical mask doesn't protect against surgical smoke because our uh, uh, surgical mask can pass particles, can prevent particles more than five micro micron to pass. Surgical smoke is 1.1 micrometer, so take care it can pass even through your uh, personal surgical mask. The last thing is a stable about general recommendations for safety. Number one, in monopolar, use lowest power. Avoid pony prominence and better here to use bipolar. Okay, you can make the tip of an instrument smaller so you can use less watt from the machine. Okay, you can use low voltage cut to do coagulation effect. What do you mean by this one? We said that coagulation, high voltage intermittent. And we said cutting, low voltage continuous. You can do something else. You can, you can do mix. How? You will take the benefit of low voltage of cutting. In the same time, apply it intermittent. So, touch, don't touch. Touch, don't touch. Touch, don't touch. So, I made it intermittent myself. You can use it. So, you will use the button of cutting, but intermittent, to give the effect of coagulation which is a smart idea actually, intermittent activation. Okay, uh, don't activate and there are near other metal instruments, proximal to your instrument to avoid coupling. And you can use the new machines that will perceive the returning electricity and they can give you alarm and stop the machine if the foot pedal is not connected well in bipolar. Take care to avoid injury of surrounding tissue. And the bipolar instrument, it's like forceps, as we said. So you can take the tissue slightly away from other organs. Don't pull it very hard away from other tissues. If you pull it very hard, electricity will be concentrated more than needed upon small point. It can lead to injury. And to avoid the bypass effect, don't compress the instrument very hard. Don't approximate very near the positive and the negative electrode to avoid bypass effect. And if there is a chance to use stitches or metal clips, it's better than using the diathermy if we are near to uh, important delicate structure. And patients with comorbidity like liver disease, vascular disease, take care that their response to electrosurgery will be different than response from other healthy people. This was the talk article about electrosurgery. I wish it was interesting as much as I can. I know that the topic about uh, physics and electrosurgery is not easy for some of us, but I think I tried as much as I can to make it uh, very easy. Uh, thanks much and best wishes for you in your exams. And inshallah, there will be more and more summarization and summarizing more and more took articles. Thank you and best wishes for you. Salam alaikum.